YouTube modeling is different than non-YouTube modeling. For one thing, you have to film everything you do. And if you're going to film everything you do, it has to fit in frame. So that's what I set out to do. Find one of the smallest tanks and make a compact diorama. Because negative space be damned. After cutting out the foam, I decided that I should trace out some of the basic land formations that were going to be happening in this diorama. In this case, a riverbed. I used a hot wire foam cutter to give the land a little bit more texture. I also cut out basic shapes that were going to be later detailed. I decided that if the tank had just driven through a riverbed, it would probably be pretty muddy surrounding it. So I went back through and I cut some deep grooves where the tank treads would have made quite an impression. I felt it would be easier to do this with the knife than the foam cutter because I wanted these to be a little bit more precise. Truth be told, you could do the entire thing with just a knife. You want to make sure it's nice and sharp to avoid tearing. I used the tank as a guide to make sure that everything's going to fit once the groundwork is in place, and then it was time to move on to the walls. I thought it would be easier to design the pattern first and then transfer that onto the foam instead of trying to draw on the foam where even the slightest mistake with the lightest pencil could leave marks in the foam. So I laid it out first, made cuts for all my straight lines, and then I went through the tedious task of cutting out all the individual stones. Now, the reference material I'm going off of has a lot of mortar in this wall. Uh, it's a stone wall with bricks laid on top of it. So I didn't need to be that precise with the stones because I am going to be giving a fair bit of texture to this wall. But I thought better have more detail than less. So you never know. This technique worked really well for the most part, but as you can see, I did have to redo a lot of the detail once I pulled off the mask. It worked really well for the straight lines and definitely for the bricks, but the stones, I probably could have done for you. After I had everything kind of laid out, I went back through with this sculpting tool, but anything would work, like a toothpick or something, to redefine all these lines and give each one a little bit more depth. Then it was on to all of those bricks. It wasn't too bad. You just want to make sure the pattern doesn't get too lost. I did it by eye for the most of it and it worked out just fine. After that, it's time to texture all of the brick and all of the stone with a stone. And then because the wall was looking a little too flat, I went through and got a lot of the bricks, different height, width, I don't know, variations in the brick. And then it was on to work on the tunnel. Same concept, just the keystones and bricks lining the tunnel itself. I used a piece of styrene to make sure that I didn't get the width wrong and that the angle was more correct. And then it was just a matter of filling that in with bricks as well. Did the same thing took out a few, pushed in a few, gave it a little bit more variation, a little bit more interesting. And that's kind of the key. 
put as many details as you can in even if people don't see them they'll know they're there there were some other details broken wall bits in the reference photo so I made some of those off camera so I don't think you need to see that anymore and then it was on to making some trees I've made trees in the past this is a pretty good technique I'm sure people have seen it I don't know where I saw it first but I'm pretty sure this is how most people make trees some strands of wire and then twist them into smaller and smaller sections to make them look like branches Sure it's twisted together so it doesn't come undone and then you do the same thing for the roots and it gives it a really nice natural look that's bendable that you can kind of fit in place of your diorama and make sure it fits the space trees can be a little tedious but once you get with the flow and get a few under your belt they're actually kind of fun this one I wanted to make kind of growing out of the wall and some vines and then another tree kind of growing out of the riverbed itself I thought this would help draw the eye up in the diorama I saw a technique that Night Shift did with a product that I don't believe is out yet that he used to make the tank treads in the soil and I thought I would try out this smooth foam because like the product Night Shift used it doesn't stick to the treads and so I really liked that idea and I thought maybe that would work and for the most part it really did. I let it dry for four or five minutes and then press the tank onto it and I'm pretty happy with that. Back to the trees. Obviously the wire is not a natural look for trees so you have to cover it with something and I'm using milliput. You don't actually need that much. It seems like you would need more than this, but this covered almost everything for one tree. I wet my fingers so it doesn't stick to me. And then just wrap it around and smooth it out. It makes it look like a tree. Once you do this, up in the upper branches you want to make sure that it doesn't get too thick so I did use some more sculpting tools to make sure it doesn't get too bulky you can really spread this out too so kind of keep spreading it so it looks nice and natural not too chunky and then once this was dry completely dry overnight I just went back through and I started giving it some bark texture because they kind of look like worms and I used this razor saw to texture each one of the branches and the trunk of the tree and it really really starts to look like a tree and a little bit more natural and now for the fun part. These sea foam trees look extremely realistic as branches. And I just super glued those on to the tips of each of the wires. And filled those in until they looked like actual trees. Made a few other details to make the wall look a little bit more three-dimensional and placed in the trees 
I think that's where I'm gonna stop for this week. I had a ton of fun putting this together and I'm really excited to start adding some more details. So next week, that's what we'll do. Thank you so much for watching. Like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want more. We'll see you next time.